just recently I'm getting a lot of people um, bringing their dogs and, and for whatever reason, it's usually dog reactivity, but it can be any reason. And they'll pretty much, on less than one or two, say, come and pass a dog. Well, yeah, of course we can, but the thing is, when you're training a dog, we don't have a magic wand. So what you've got to do, you've got to put in some foundations. So if you bring your dog to me and let's say it's reactive, and I might say to you, let's walk past then so I can see what it is, how reactive what it is I'm dealing with, that's all perfectly natural. But we're not going to keep walking past dogs once I've seen what it does, because that's not fair to your dog. That's not helping it in any way. That's just letting it explode every time. So, you've got to build foundations. So you bring your dog to me, we do little bits of work. And I, I always, always, always try and explain what it is I'm doing while we're doing the work. So for instance, when we... I use my puppy as a demo. Tucker, ready? Find it, find it. When we're doing games, find it. And this one's going to come in and take it. Good boy. When we're doing games, you see it brought blue in as well. This is to build focus onto me. Now look at Blue's focus on me. Because, well, we might play that game again. Yeah, we might do. But then again, we might not. But what I'm saying is you can't just... You're not magicians. You don't just bring your dog to me and then we can walk past any and every dog that we've seen. Your dog's not going to do whatever it is he was doing in the first place. You've got to start somewhere. And that's what all these games, all the heel work, all the up and overs and everything are about. If you don't do that, you've got nothing.